online gambling. Okay, and this is something that Mr. is, is dear to the heart of Sheldon Adelson. As a matter of fact, he's already gone to war with the American Gaming Association. So the dispute says, according to the New York Times and another article, seeking to ban online betting, GOP donors test the influence. It says the dispute has already largely sidelined the industry's powerful trade group, the American Gaming Association, after Mr. Adelson threatened to withdraw from the organization if it continued to back expanded online gambling, according to several industry executive. So the gambling industry is afraid of Mr. Adelson, and he seems to be able to get people like Lindsey Graham and Chris Christie to kiss his, let's put it politely, ring, okay? Kissing the ring of this guy. Whatever he wants, okay? They're for sale. You're for sale. Your country is for sale. From the people like Lindsey Graham, Chris Christie, Jeb Bush, John Kasich, Scott Walker, those are people you need to watch out for because they're going, they're up for sale. They're basically prostitutes whoring themselves out to the highest bidder. And it makes a lot of sense for Mr. Adelson to spend $93 million on a presidential election. That's chump change compared to the amount of money he can make if he can get rid of his competitors. This is why corporations always work with government. See, it isn't that government is necessarily the bad guy unless they're worried they're not going to protect you from the corporations they're in they're being controlled by the corporations that's what people on the left and the right don't understand they always want to demonize the government or demonize the corporations or say that their guy can do no wrong the the, the thing is they're both merged at the hip you can't tell where the large corporations stop and where big government ends it's a symbiotic relationship Let's take another call. Uh, Anthony in Pennsylvania, you wanted to talk about the difference uh, between 1984 and Brave New World that I was talking about earlier. you have a comment? Yeah, David. Uh, great show. It's Anthony Antonello from Pennsylvania. Um, and when, when, as soon as I heard you say that, I, I had to pick up the phone and uh, give you a call because the way, the way I see it, and it's becoming so obvious to so many of us, uh, when, when we see those videos, and uh, like the one from New Mexico, the the actual murder, I, I mean, it happens on a regular basis. And when you see Kelly Thomas, what what was it, two out of the five or six police officers were actually uh, charged and they were even acquitted. Yeah. So, you know, this this is a systemic problem. The, the new thing I did notice in that video, did you notice the, the camera angle that they released? It, re it reminds me of, and I'm not a video game player, but it reminds me of one of those first-person shooter. That's right. Uh, That's right. Yeah, right. So it's mm -hmm. more of this acclimation, getting people, you know, accustomed to it. This is the first generation of uh, video gamers that are now soldiers. But the way I see Brave New World in 1984, I believe that they are doubling down with both. I believe they would rather... A brave new world. They would rather people dumb down. That's why they have the the GMOs, the fluoride. Uh, they're hitting us up with um, uh, Common Core and mm -hmm. dumbing down the entire society, uh, mainstream media propaganda. So they would rather that. But there are still people like us that are constantly waging this you know war of information, trying to wake people up, and that's where their plan B or, you know, to make sure that everything goes the way they want, that's their 1984. That's their technocracy and, and them having complete control over everything they uh, we do. So you put those two together and, you know, this, this really is their new world order and it is playing out right in front of us in real time. When you look at pictures of uh, people getting shot in the head by, by the Gestapo, okay, what is the difference? And people are so shocked. Oh, my God, how can that happen? Well, it's happening right now. We're seeing videos of it. You know, the, the, the quote, unquote, the state murdering That's right. people. It's, That's it's right. happening. They, right they want to believe that it isn't going to happen to them. In the same way that people who were rounded up by the Gestapo wanted to believe that they weren't headed to an execution, that they were just headed to a prison camp, or that something good was going to happen to them if they were just nice and harmless.
We're going to be right back. Thank you, Anthony. We're going to take some other callers right after the break. Today is the last day to get free shipping on every order over $150 from Emergency Essentials. And that's not all. We have the guaranteed lowest prices anywhere, like our new Farmer's Market Vegetable Combo that's on sale for 50% off. That's six cans of freeze-dried veggies for only $79.99. Or get Mountain House Pork Chops for 22% off. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be be unprepared or be prepared.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to goberkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, goberkey.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System System today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today, and we're taking calls. Mostly, most of the calls have been about the shooting that happened in Albuquerque. Of course, there was a demonstration yesterday. went on for 10 hours. Reports were that there were at least 500 people there. Once it dwindled down to 100, things got violent. And we've talked to a couple of people who were there in New Mexico, and we've had... Um, We've been asking callers for solutions. What do you think we can do to get control of this militarized, unaccountable police that we see at every level? And, of course, we saw this also with the 
riots in uh, Arizona, the Wildcat game that was lost. We see this cop just walking out of nowhere, clocking a young girl for no reason. She's not doing anything at all. What do we do to get control of the people that we've given this kind of essentially a monopoly of force? Because if you oppose them, they will kill you. It's what, it underscores the reason why we cannot afford to give up our guns. We cannot give them a true monopoly of force. Can you imagine how much worse, how much more rapidly this would deteriorate if they knew that nobody even had any guns? At some point, that has to be a deterrent. It's just like the mutual assured destruction of the U.S. and Russia having nuclear weapons. That's the idea of the population having firearms. It's there to serve as a deterrent against a tyrannical government. And of course, the other part of the plan was that we were never supposed to have a standing military like we've had since the end of World War II. They always knew that the means of defense against tyranny abroad would become, uh, the means of defense against enemies abroad would become the means of tyranny at home. It's just human nature. The founders understood that. They warned us about that. They tried to set up controls and checks and balances to stop that. But we've ignored their advice. We've ignored the checks and balances. And now we have a problem on our hand. And so we've been taking callers. And Josh in Washington, you've been holding for quite some time. Uh, tell us what you wanted to uh, say about this. Hi, David. Uh, I just want to say you're doing a great job with The Daily Show. Uh, I just have a few topics I'd like to touch on. Sure. Go ahead. Um, Thank you. As far as... Uh, your idea there to make the officers and the departments foot the bill for their tyranny. I think that's a great idea. And uh, I think some people might argue that uh, that still comes out of the government coffers. But at least that would give us a paper trail, lead mm -hmm. back to the offending departments and whatnot. And uh, really, that money is going to talk louder than any, you know, uh, abusive action that they, they do. If yes. they're spending too much money, that'll stop them, I think. Yes, I think we have to make them accountable in some way. At the very least, financially accountable. Make the police departments financially accountable. Cut their budget. Make the make Homeland Security give them all of their weapons for free. <laughs> That's probably what they would do. I don't know. Any other comments you want to make? Um, well, I also wanted to talk about Obamacare a little bit there. Sure. Uh, Go ahead. I've, uh, I've talked to people on different forums and whatnot on, on, on this, and, you know, back in the day, it's just the Obama cult of personality was very strong, but uh, even nowadays on... Uh, on forums where, you know, people aren't very, you know, it's not about politics, but, you know, and you talk to people and they are getting the picture. This is the, this is the clinch pin, I think. And I want to know, uh, do you think that the uh, mandate's going to last after this administration ends? And if, if that would be regardless of what party gets in there next? Well, I hope it will. Ted Cruz has said that he's, he thinks that he can end it. I hope he can. We need to... The government doesn't have any authority to force us to buy insurance. But we see the government doing things that it has no constitutional authority for all the time anyway. I mean, look at the war on drugs. That's where we really first saw the militarization of the police. That's where we really saw SWAT teams used for the first time, no-knock raids used for the first time. It was a war on our civil liberties from the get-go, and they had no authority for it. When they had alcohol prohibition, they had to pass a constitutional amendment because at the time, people acknowledged the authority of the Constitution. They knew that they had no authority to ban anything, so they passed a constitutional amendment to ban alcohol. Then when they decided they weren't going to ban alcohol, they passed another constitutional amendment. So we got 20-some-odd amendments. Two of them are about giving the government permission to ban alcohol or a particular substance, whatever it is, and then another one to undo it. So where do they get off telling us that we can or cannot have anything in our life. They don't have the authority. The Ninth and Tenth Amendments make that clear, that that authority has not been given that to them. They don't have, under the Commerce Clause or under the General Welfare Clause, they don't have the authority to extrapolate that into broad powers. The Tenth Amendment says that if it's not specifically given to you, you don't have it. If it's not enumerated, you don't have it. That's the situation. So they ignore the law, but... It'll be interesting to see what happens. There are a lot of Republicans who are in the pockets of the insurance companies. And make no doubt about it, when Obama spent $1.2 billion to get elected, he, was, he owed money to corporate donors.
This is a payback. This is a redistribu redistribution of wealth from the American people to these corporations. And there are Republicans who are involved in that as well. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our 